So the node system got delayed. I could have called that one. Just wanted to make a video about the Cleric Showcase that's gonna be done this Friday. To me, I think there are three things that could actually really set the hype levels pretty high by showing off certain systems and certain things from the Cleric class itself. So let's get right into it. And then these are in no particular order. Now, the first thing that I would love for Intrepid to show from the Cleric is actual PvP. Now, the last time they really showcased any kind of like player versus player is literally back in the Alpha 1. And I, I would love to see where the corruption system is, the kinds of like when you kill somebody uh, in a party, that whole entire system works, but also to see the kind of toolkit that you would use in a PvP scenario from a healer's perspective. You know, this is a game that is gonna be a lot of PvE, but this is also a game where Ashes is very PvP-centric. It'd be very beneficial for them to show off, you know, just some PvP. You know, whether it's a 2v2, 3v3 skirmish against, you know, some other uh, <laughs> developers, I, I think the hijinks could actually be a lot more fun and crazy compared to, the, compared to them just killing off some random mob, you know, in the corner. Now, the second thing they can show off is the actual different play styles the cleric can do now for me as a complete pessimist on the entire 64 class system basically have one healer and one tank it would be very nice for intrepid to at least show off the capability of customization and how you can tailor your heals to be if you want to be a hot healer here are the different combinations of hots that you can have you want to be an aoe healer Here's all the different AOE abilities. If you want to be a shield healer, this is all the different shield and bubble abilities you can have. If you want to be a melee healer, you know, this is the type of, you know, setup you can have. Like they really need, in my opinion, to showcase all of the different ways this one base class can stem into all of these different directions. Because for me, you know, I I've have healed in World of Warcraft in raid scenarios and also in PvP scenarios. And, you know, there's a very big distinction between druid heals in WoW compared to like shaman heals, compared to monk heals, compared to disc priest heals. And I really feel like if they were to showcase, you know, a little bit of that in this cleric showcase would really alleviate a lot of at least my anxiety on the kind of 64 class system and how interchangeable these classes can really be along the way of your leveling and also, of course, towards end game to me the number one thing they can show off and i kind of mentioned in this uh, second part is the augment system show us i don't care if the ui isn't done you know we saw a very dirty ui in alpha one you know with the passives the weapon you know the class tree or whatever i really 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 would love to see some kind of a update or at least kind of like an explanation of their thinking on how the ability sets is going to tailor weave to your rotation and, and what you want to select as far as your utilities, your heals, but also how weapon choices are going to affect you as a healer. Like if you want to go like into AOE heals, then you really want that two ended staff. But if you want to focus more on single target heals, maybe you want a one hander. Like it, it's those kinds of combinations. It's it's these kinds of things that I am really looking forward to as far as player customization goes when it comes to not just the cleric class, but any of these classes. And I think even just a brief demonstration of the cleric augment system could really just show us a little bit more under the hood, or at least give us a brief look as to like what we can expect in Alpha 2. Because to me, when I was looking at the kind of talent trees they had for Alpha 1, it just seemed very New Worldish, And what I mean by that, it just very simple. It didn't have any kind of complexity or any kind of, not saying I need it to be like PoE complex, but I, I would like it to be a, a little bit more fleshed out than what it was. And if it's anything like what we saw from the character creator in Alpha 1 compared to the character creator that we saw later down the road, now that could be something we could really sink our teeth in and even showcasing a class that we've already seen. I think a lot of people will be very, very excited to see that.